hi everyone and welcome back so this is the fifth video and in this video we can talk about some more use cases let's say if we plan to build a simple shopping cart application right so we will be writing the tables first let me clean our tables which we have created from the previous video same for the countries okay so it's just like whenever you have primary key foreign key relationship always try to delete the for foreign key table first otherwise you are violating some conditions and you won't be able to delete okay now we are trying to create a simple shopping cart right so we wanted to have an email and the password because we can also have a simple login system through the apis email password created it updated it address is optional countries we don't have so this is a simple users table then we have products table which is id title of the product we don't need to index this id title price inventory and delete the relationships because this is just a simple product table created at updated at okay now we have products table and then we can have one simple car table so uh, what i need to do is npm run make cart and it will create a migration and in the cart we have a user id and a product id okay let's create a cart table and here we have id user id as a foreign key so we need to populate that we need to populate the reference of this user id with the table and we also have product id okay so we have user id and the product id as a foreign key we can also create the index and attach the the foreign key reference to both these tables so we can index both the columns and then references references is an id from which table we will define that table here So product will be so now once our migrations are ready we can run them and i was running npm run migrate and it starts giving me one simple error which is like uh, the type variations okay here i was using string it should be type uh, integer same name same as the id as a foreign key we are adding and then when you when i did npm run migrate all the three migrations are successful and now we should be able to see the tables okay that's good and if we can see the card table structure and here can i zoom this a little bit or maybe not okay here you can see the table here i do have two foreign key user id and the product id is an integer nullable yes it should be in a label uh, false so here uh, we have added the user id and the product id so now we have actually tables ready what we did is we created a simple migrations cart this is the product this is the users okay so this is the users simple table and then this is the products another table of different type strings and this is the card which has the foreign key user id and the product id now we can start writing our apis after we do npm run migrate you can do this n number of times if your migration is already executed it is not going to run that migration again 
now we can write a couple of routes couple of api routes we can say because it is express app and we can define different routers like user router product router cart router and uh, we can simply create routes folder here to get more visibility on different routes we are creating and inside routes we can create a users.js products.js and cart.js cart.js and then user.js it should be product.js okay so we have three different routers now we can define all these routes like this cart will have its cart dao users will have a users dao i mean this dao object is nothing but uh, helper methods all the methods related to the user entity user tables will go inside the data dao we just copy and paste to do's into users so we got users.js similarly to do's can be replaced as a product right now what do we have in users we are going to just read this table same as this user by id will be where id equal to this remove we are going to look into users table get the id and delete this create we are going into the users table create the the data inside it okay similarly we can just use products give me all the products right and then get product by id delete product by id and create product you can see the structure is kind of similar create update delete get get all similarly you can have a cart and here you will be doing a lot of things with cart dot js might be the methods are different here based on our understanding like get cart by id for a uh, for for our objective we just need to replace the table name this is the remove cart this is the create cart okay for creating the cart you need a product id user id all those information in the payload okay because those are foreign keys now we can define the routes these are like a data access object dao layer which is interacting with the database products and this is the users we can also add another method is find all get you can write a custom methods get my email and password so users where email is this email and currently you are not encrypting the password i'm storing the hard-coded password so you can compare it like this if result is an object then it means you got your username so we are passing email comma password to this method this is just another custom method i have created and then export this method this can be get all get by id create insert update delete all these kind of methods we are exporting these from the dao layer so these can be used inside the routes let's say i have this server routes server routes can be the same syntax can be used for the users how i will have all the methods get all users get user and then i have create user So this is a create user and here I will be importing my DAO layer which is user. Okay, inside data I have 
data DAO and inside that do we need to have card users and all so I'm accessing the users and I'm accessing this inside the routes so I need to go one folder outside now I do have data and then that's it I got the user object now I can do get all users let's say in that case what you will do is user dot all there is already a method you are doing response dot similarly get user and then here you are doing is await user dot get and we are passing the id simply a single user object we are sending that in the response create user so we are doing user dot create passing the whole body inside body you will be passing the email or request dot body So whatever we are getting inside request.body we are just passing all of these now we can add a validation layer here that validation request.body should contain only these many arguments like the username email and all you can add a validation with the help of joy or any other module so all these are exported and then you'll use them in the router so this is your simple routes So we can have product routes like get all products and all these things and from your main file which is your index.js you will you will call all these routes so here you need to require something else for user routes this will give you everything so I can call that as a user routes so and for this user routes dot all these methods this should be get all users this should be get user and this should be create a user okay similarly you can bind the same method for the products and same method for the card currently we do have a relationship that card has a foreign key user id and the product id so uh, while creating the card we need to pass the product uh, we need to pass the product id and user id a valid id so before inserting the data we just need to validate that there exists a user id with this id and there exists a product with this id Okay, that is just like some validation checks you need to perform before adding the data to the cars table and while reading it we need to populate the whole information okay this card belongs to this user and this product fetch that information also okay so this is like a simple cart like application where we have written a migration down layer the routes and then the handlers inside index.js these are the express route handlers they are calling our routes like get all users get all users is using our database layer which we have created database query user dot all user dot get user dot create all these methods okay so now you can write your endpoints like uh, in the users you can write a simple login sign up and in the products get product delete product update product same for the cart So here we can see the results we have the users products and cards similarly you can define the routes for each and every entity uh, like inside index.js currently I'm handling only the user routes which is just a create and get get by id similarly you can add something more which is like for products you have some routes get product by id create product and then here instead of user routes you will be creating uh, the product routes
and this is coming from products and here we do have I'm talking about the route so inside this it will be products okay and we'll be operating on to the product entity product.all product.get and product.create and we can change the rest of the the variable names like get all users instead of that it will be get all products get product and create product export all those things so instead of user we can find and replace with product okay so we have get all products all these things go to your handler which is index.js so here instead of user routes it will be product routes product routes dot get so here we can see get all products another method is a get product and another method is create product and we have this application running you can restart this or you can use node moon so whenever you change the file it restarts automatically we have these entities now i can create a user you can also add a condition if there is an email is existing user to not allow creating that user i can see the users and that is with the same email so what i will do is i will add a migration which is alter users okay so my migration will be the new one that will be making my users unique so how can we do this npm run make alter user okay alter user table migration is there and what we are doing here is we are trying to alter the table definition right so it is simply is like adding the new column or changing the type when you wanted to add a new column or a drop a column you have to actually add uh, the new migration for that so and here we are talking about adding uh, the unique index unique uniqueness in the email attribute so let's take a look on to how we can do this so we are accessing the so we are not going to do a create table next dot schema and we are going to access the table which is users and then table dot string email because table already existing right we are not doing anything there and for drop we are not doing anything written promise dot resolve here we can actually add unique let's see if it works so table dot string email or table dot alter so these are like how you write migration when you want to add alter a column type or add a, some kind of a constraint to a column then you again have to write the migration for that so like if i wanted to remove the uniqueness table dot drop or there should be add unique that is add the uniqueness in the email that we have to look into the documentation how it looks like you will not add unique or drop unique so let me populate some documentation about this So this is an XS library and here we are on the migrations. 
so we need to just look at add unique if there is okay let's see if it works add unique i added on the email and now we'll just do npm run migrate and what it is saying is add unique is not a function let's try unique okay that is the thing because this is true but we already added a record inside a table which is not a unique right so for that let's go to the data and delete these entries now this migration should be successful okay now go to our structure and check if the uniqueness has been added to the email is nullable check and i'm not sure primary key okay user email is now unique so you cannot insert the same record again and again so for the testing let's insert this we are doing post one now it should return an error right because the user is not unique so before inserting we have to check before creating the user here we have to check const user and await user dot find user dot get by email so there should be a method get by email and we can just pass request dot body dot email and if user is found comes out as a null then only create this user otherwise what you can do is simply say response dot status i will say in the language of http of 409 is a status code dot send or dot json user already exists that's it okay so this is how we can write our apis so guys this is all about uh, this simple example now you can write a cart apis product apis same as the user api you can also add the login and register mechanism and also extend this example to encrypting the password and then comparing the password while doing the login